Imagine this. You're female, but you have male DNA. Now, this is a condition that actually affects thousands of women. Genetically, they are men, but because of what's called androgen insensitivity syndrome, they develop as women. ABC's Juju Chang met one sufferer who spent her life struggling with this rare condition. If my mother didn't think I should know, and my father didn't think I should know, and the doctors didn't think I should know, I shouldn't let anybody else know. It's that shameful. It's that awful. Musician Eden Atwood was always the picture of health, blossoming from an adorable young girl into a striking beauty, becoming a model, an actress, yeah. and an accomplished jazz singer. But from the time she was a teenager, Eden sensed that something was wrong. Something's weird. No one's telling the truth. This fits. I'm a freak. Eden Atwood is not a freak, nor is she half man, half woman. But her DNA says she's a man because she has male chromosomes, an X and a Y, instead of two X's like most females. It's a genetic condition called androgen insensitivity syndrome, or AIS, which can be passed down through the mother or occur as a spontaneous mutation. Dr. Charmian Quigley, a pediatric endocrinologist, says despite the male chromosomes, women with AIS are just that, women. I got told a pack of lies that set me down a course of total self-rejection and fear and secrecy. <laughs> it's taken more than 20 years, but Eden is finally more comfortable talking about her long-kept secret. I said, that's interesting. What's for dinner? <laughs> What's for dinner? <laughs> Bruce Anderson eventually married Eden, but her struggle with her self-image because of AIS made intimacy difficult, and the marriage ended in divorce. 